Officers are using supervised electronic monitoring more often to try to keep the public safe. But as Natasha Robin reports, the owner of one monitoring company says there needs to be a standard reporting process in place for everything to work more efficiently. As the city continues to deal with a serious crime problem, it appears magistrate judges in the New Orleans Police Department is leaning on electronic monitoring technology. The process ends up with us being the ones that are supervising the huge majority of people. Ankle monitor provider Matt Dennis says the program is about supervision. Right now, he says his company monitors about 300 people in Orleans Parish, but he says there needs to be standards put in place for his system and other ankle monitoring systems to work even more efficiently. You have stay-away orders that are not being signed, copies of stay-away orders that aren't being given to us. There's no direct and distinct links of communication between the entities. So, it's a system problem. Raphael Guinecci of the Metropolitan Crime Commission agrees. In getting that information to the clerk of court, which makes that information available to the sheriff. They have to give us the stay away order address. We can't ask the offender what address he's supposed to stay away from. Dennis says it's forcing his employees to go backwards through the system to find information pertaining to the judge's order. We're having to do this over and over and over on every case. And what it's doing is it's delaying the release more than anything. It's causing a person to sit in jail maybe a, a number of days longer. And electronic monitoring is the best method to ensure that the individually crafted conditions of release are adhered to. Part of Dennis's supervision program includes what's called proximity reporting. The program is designed for law enforcement to simply use an app, punch in a date, time, and location of a crime, and quickly find out if anyone on an ankle monitor was there. Goenechi applauds the program that's frequently used by NOPD detectives. Still, he says he'd like to see a standard automated system that would eliminate officers having to look up the information each time. So it's not incumbent upon one officer looking at one case, but the entire police department assessing whether anybody wearing a monitor was at the scene and that needs to be done automatically computer to computer digitally to maximize the public safety benefits of that. Dennis though points out the proximity reporting used now is netting results. When you're wearing an ankle monitor in this city if you commit a crime they're going to catch you. He says communication though is key. So it's a wonderful deterrence it's going to continue to grow but we've got to build a process of standards and communication. Natasha Robin, Fox 8, Local First.